Thank you. I'm so delighted to kick off the safari today. T turn with me in the book of Matthew, chapter 28. Matthew 28. For those who do not have a, a book, we will include you as well in the, in the program. You are part of what we are doing today. While you are perusing, I'm aware we have uh, three categories of people in this place. We have those who are, who are born again already. They are saved. We have you there. We are aware of that. Secondly, we have those who are young believers. They are still growing in their faith. We are aware of you as well. We will take care of you as well. Thirdly, we have those who are not yet given their lives to Christ. We are aware of you as well. So we'll try to make sure we're all together in this journey of safari. The Great Commission, 28 verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 20. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you all the days of your life. Father, bless your word. Let the entrance of your word give life. We give you glory and honor. Again, be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still in the engaging stage. And then very soon we are moving to swore, to fly. Again, we will move to blossoming. Our theme, we are doing very well. So today I, I wanted to go to engaging in salvation. For you to swore, to fly well, to blossom well, your foundation must be okay. You must have a very well-established foundation that will cause you to fly very far. You soar well. And so, as we start with safari for all, safari for everyone, it starts with engaging in salvation. Can I hear a big amen for that? Amen. You can feel also your book I, I, I also teach. Christianity has lost its cutting edge. And like salt, Okay. Christianity has lost its cutting edge. And like salt, that has lost its saltiness. It is being trapped upon by men in the public arena. The choice that faces us as a Christian community is either we drop it down or we change again. We need to restore the glory of Christianity. And so we have the choice to make and a choice to take. And safari, as we said, is a call to radical Christianity. 
We want a radical Christianity. People who can love God, love Jesus with all their hearts. A radical. The word radical should not make you to fear. The word radical is not a, a simple word. It's someone who is engaging in the faith he has or she has. Must be radical in loving God. Loving him with all our hearts. Loving him with all our strength. Loving God with all our might. And also loving our neighbors with all our hearts. That is the Christianity that will change our generation. Not with panga, not with machete, not with any other thing, not with stones when things are not okay. With the love of God, we can change our nation, our continent, even our county. Can I hear a big amen for that? I don't mind if you say amen, there is no condemnation for that. Loving our neighbors, the unloved, with the love of God. And also loving our environment. I like that. Loving our estates. Loving our church. Loving our city. Loving our schools. Loving our university. Loving our roads. I've been seeing people throwing things from the car. Bottles out. That is not loving. If you have been doing that, may the Lord forgive you. When you are driving, you finish your bottle of soda or water, you don't throw it, you keep it. We have dust being around here. We want to take our community well. Not only here, but at home and in the community as well. That is our love for the community. Therefore, safari is a comprehensive discipleship. This is a discipleship program. Designed for all those who thirst after righteousness to embark on a journey of growth and transformation. And as we go together, we will grow. We will grow in salvation. We'll grow all together. We'll grow with our, from our children, our children, youth, adults. We all grow together to be more like Jesus through this program is going to help us to move forward. We have safari for everyone, for our children and uh, for the youth. And that's why, because of the demand, we had gone already ahead with, this, with the safari on salvation. But we want everyone to go into it. That's why we are coming to the service, so that we all be together. Today we are going to the first stage that's enter. And in ETA, we will have a, almost five weeks to be together there. You will enjoy the journey. It's good. We'll give you time to ask questions as well. We will have a small group in this place. Enter stage. And that is what is there as we start together to do. We'll have a five enter stage, encounter, embrace, enlist, engage, and we will walk with you together to know all is well. Understanding salvation. I'm there. If you have your book, you can open and as we move together. Thank you. In this lesson, I would like to help you to, to understand your relationship with God can be broken by the sin. Sin can separate us from God. And also, when sin separates us, God has made a way for us out through 
his son Jesus Christ. And he is inviting us to him and to die with him. The state of man. Man is born a sinner. Sin is rebellion against God. Like Adam, man is always running away from God. Adam disobeyed God and sin entered into the world. First, Adam introduced sin to the world. And the sin separates us from God. In the Garden of Eden, God was having a fellowship with Adam one on one. But when he disobeyed, he took off. He didn't like to see God. Sin makes you to run away from God. And that's what Adam was, did. And God came to look for his friend Adam and said, where are you? He said, no, the woman you gave me, gave me something to eat. He was running away from God. Sin makes us to run away from God. Sin is missing the mark. Sin is disconnecting yourself from God. Sin makes you to be far away from God. And the consequence of sin is death, both physically and even eternally. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 said, For all have sinned, and a fall short of glory of God. And Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. God made a way. The first Adam introduced us to sin. The second Adam removed us from sin, and that is Jesus. Can I hear amen for that? The first Adam disconnected us from God. The second one connected us back again to God. And that is Jesus what he did for us. And as you accept Jesus, you accept him in your life. He will set you free from sin. Can I hear amen for that? He sets you free from sin. He sets you free from our cleanliness. He sets you free from the power of darkness of devil. He sets you free from God's wrath. He sets you free from the present age and in all nature. He sets you free from eternal death. He sets you free. If the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. Christ came to set you free from the power of sin, from the power of death, from the power of grave, from the power of destruction, from the power of uncleanness, from the power of death. He came to set you free. If the Son set you free, you are free, you are free, you are free. Can I hear amen for that? Free. That's what Christ came. To do, to set us free from our cleanness of the heart in mind. Misconception of salvation. There are so many people who do not know what is salvation. We have a lot of misconception on that area. And maybe even in our midst today, we have that misconception. What does it mean to be born again? That's the big question. What is the meaning of being born again? What is the meaning of being saved? What is the meaning of receiving Christ in your life? That is 
what we want. What is not salvation? I want to start with that misconception. I hear people saying, you know, I'm Christian because I'm baptized. I thank God for baptism. But that is not salvation. I'm a born again because I'm a Christian, but I'm not saved. I'm 50-50. I'm 50. I, 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 I'm still, you know, it does matter, but I, I, I'm still, I'm screaming. That is misconception. You must know your identity, who you are. And I hear another one say, you know what, pastor? I am a Christian because I came from a Christian family. In fact, my father was a pastor. My father was a lay minister. My father was the elder of ACK, of AIC, of a baptism, of, 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 of a Pente, Pentecost. My father was there. So we went to Sunday school. That is a misconception. That is not salvation. Praise God because you went to the church. You know what, pastor? You know, I am a Methodist. I was confirmed in the Catholic church. I'm also going to heaven. No, you are lost. That is not salvation. That is not to be a Christian. I'm a Christian because I go to church. <laughs> Mimi ni mukristo. Mimi ni member. Mimi ni member because I go to church. Misconception. Going to church is good. But that is not the salvation. I'm a member because I tithe. Tithing is good. But that is not salvation. You must tithe. I'm a Christian because I preach with loud voice like Pastor Anataka. That is not salvation. It is good. Are we together? Are we together? Can I say, I, I, I'm, 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 you know what? I, I've been in this place for so many years. You know, you, you can be for so many years in the system without knowing God. Without being saved. I'm a Christian because my name is Godfrey. My name is Peter. After baptism, they named me. My Godfather, my Godmother put my name. I am Mr. <laughs> Ibrahim. <laughs> I'm Mr. Samuel. Thank God for the names. But that is not the salvation. That's a misconception. Misconception. In fact, I grew up from a very Christian family. My father was a reverend. But you know, I smoked more than even the reverends. Cigara. From the reverend house. And on a Sunday, say, Tunaenda Kanisani, Tunasonga Mbele. Tunaenda Mbele, Tunaenda Mbele. Yet, in my pocket, there's a full of cigarette. And after the service, when the grace is said, my dad said, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I sneak with my cigarette. But the Lord delivered me from that. When I came to the Lord, my life had to be changed. Misconception. I'm a Christian by, but in my own way. I'm a Christian. I cannot tell other people. I don't shout about it. I am, I'm born again. No. Misconception. You know what? I'm a seven Adventist. Or eight Adventists, that's also good. 
misconception. You can be even a tenth Adventist and a missing the mark or baptize it or Pentecost. You know, you may even say, you know, you know what? We started this ministry in the tent with Reverend Bandu and yet you have not reached the cross. Misconception. Now, all these things are good. Ministries are good. Don't take me wrong. That is not what I'm saying. I say those things are good. But you must make a personal commitment for yourself, not for not co corporate. You personally coming to the cross say, Jesus, I need you. Can I hear amen for that? Can you clap for that? Personal decision. Personal decision. Thank you for the activities. Thank you for the ministries. Thank you for the membership. Thank you for visiting people in hospital. Thank you for fasting as well. Thank you for preaching like the pastors. Those are good works. Good works cannot give you salvation. Salvation is the work of God. Religion cannot give you salvation. Denomination cannot give you salvation. Thank God because you have come from redeemed church. Thank God from baptism. Thank God for all this. These are good. But salvation comes when you come to the Lord. You say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I need you. I ask you to forgive me. I've gone astray from you. And today I have chosen to follow you for the rest of my life. That is the beginning of salvation. You are going with a heavy burden this direction. Umebeba, pombe, umebeba, sigara, umebeba, vita. You have carried heavy burden. You are loaded. You are loaded. You are not free. And, and you meet Jesus. Conversion. Look at me. You meet Jesus. You make a turn around. You are going in the wrong direction. But now, you've met Jesus. You turn around. You follow another right direction. That is turning around. It's like you, you enter a matatu that is going to Kakamega. You, you, your plan was to go to Kericho. And you find yourself in a matatu that is going to Kakamega or Bondo. What do you do? But your destination is in Kericho or you are going to Kindu Bay. Or what do you do? You still go there. You say, Simama, Simama, Simama. I am in the wrong direction. You are light. You come down. You say, no, I am not in the right direction. I have, you come out of that and you move to another direction. Let's turn around. And it has to take place in our walk with the Lord. You are going in this direction. You turn around. And that is salvation. That is regeneration. It takes the shed blood of Jesus. And the faith in his work. To turn you from the wrong direction. To be born again. Is to receive Jesus as your Savior. Because everyone needs to be rescued from sin. The first step is to realize that we, we all need to be rescued. It's like you are drawing. You are drowning in the lake. You don't know how to swim. You don't know how to swim. You have jumped in the water. Now you are drinking water. You need someone to come in to jump and do Take you. That is what God did for us. He removed us. We had no power. We had no strength. And ours is just to accept the hands. Say, Shikam Rescue. 
from sin. It's only God who will rescue us. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The only way to God is through Jesus. Not through churches. Not through other people. Not through Buddha. Not through Allah. Not through whatever. Not through witch doctors. It is through Jesus and Jesus alone. Can I hear amen for that? Amen. Amen. Christ's death has paid for the penalty of our sin. Christ did the work for us. He paid all the penalty. We were supposed to die according to the law. You are the one dying on the cross. But Christ took your place and they carry all your sins on him. And they set you free. He carried your, your burden and my burden and they let us free. His death has paid for the penalty of our sins. Salvation is the work of grace and not human effort. That means that the work of salvation has already been done for us. It's already done. It's already done. We do work not to receive salvation, but to demonstrate the salvation we have received. Christ did it for us all. He did it for us. Ours is to receive. We don't work for it. Good work will back what we are. But salvation is a free, a free gift. A free gift from God for you, for you, for you. It is not complicated the way we say, Oh, me, let me stop smoking, then I will give my life. Come the way you are. Can I hear amen for that? Let me stop. Having my prostitution and then I will come. Come the way you are. Let me stop cheating people. No. Come to Jesus the way you are. Just like you are. Usiache kuja mbele hapa ata kusafisha. Can I hear a man for that? I have so many friends who have told me, Pastor, I cannot get saved now. Let me enjoy the life a bit. Come with that enjoying of life to the feet of Jesus. Can I hear amen for that? Come the way you are. Even today, I'll ask you to come the way you are. Who? To him. He is the one who will give you the rest. Is by grace is free. I like that. Although the African man doesn't like the free thing, we don't like the free things. We want to do. Th we want to work for things. Christ has already worked for you. He has dealt with the thing. He paid it all. He, he you have nothing to do except accepting. Kukubali kusema yes. You have done it for me. Yes. Pokea. That is what God wants to do for us. It's very simple. So if someone will miss going to heaven, it's not because the gospel was so complicated. The gospel has been simplified by God through his son, Jesus Christ. It's simple. It is possible. When Jesus died at the cross, he made salvation possible for everyone. Salvation is possible for every race. Salvation is possible for a young man. Salvation is possible for an old man. Salvation is possible for a married one. Salvation is possible for the drunkard. Salvation is possible for the one who is chasing after the girls. 
Salvation is impossible for everyone. Salvation is impossible for a businessman, for a businesswoman. Salvation is impossible for a soldier, for a politician. Salvation is impossible for a teacher, a professor. Salvation is impossible for a doctor, a medical doctor, an agriculture doctor, engineer. Salvation is impossible for everyone. Free of charge. Christ paid it for us. Tell your neighbor, salvation is for everyone. Irrespective of who you are. Salvation is yours. For everyone. Salvation is possible for a president. Salvation is possible for a muindi. Possible for a, a Muslim. Hindu, war, whoever, young person, salvation is possible for everyone. Your responsibility and my responsibility is to accept. Accept. God loves you the way you are. In Matthew chapter 11, 28, he said, come to me, all of you who have weary, laden, heavy burden, Come, come to me. I will give you rest. I'll give you rest. That's salvation. Come to me. Come to me. Just the way you are. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Maybe you are here, you are saying, Maze, Sizani kama ni tatoboa. Hii kitu ni ngumu saa. ni mawe. No. Christ paid it for you. It's just as simple as you are thinking now. You say, how, how can it be so simple? Like God made it simpler for us through his son. He, God so loved the world and gave his only son. Whosoever believes in him, whoever believes, whoever is everyone who believes, whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. Yours is to admit. Yours is to believe. Yours is to accept. Yours is to invite Jesus. Say, come into my life and be the Lord and the Savior of my life. That is something you can do. And as you do so, you enter into the family of God. You admit. Even in public, you say, I, am, I, I, need, I need you. I need you. I'm a sinner. I need you. And when you do so, your, your name is written in a book of life. The books of the Lamb. I don't know if your name is in that book. This morning, is your name in that book? When the call will be made, your name will be in that book? When God will start calling, Otieno, Jinayango ni wapi? Siniri kwa kanisani huko. Anataka. Hakuna jina huko unaenda kwa list. Angel, angalia yangu. Where, where is my name? Wewe. Jina lako. Haliko katika kitabo cha uzima. Is your name in the book of life? Have you written your name? 
It's by accepting Jesus as your Savior. I remember one day I was traveling to, to America. You know what? I forgot the visa for Amsterdam. I greeted all my friends. I said, oh, bye, bye. Nimeenda. Tutonana ni njumbake kwa Afrika hapa. Na minaenda. Ninaenda na Pinokio. Greeted all my friends. In the church, they prayed for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless this man of God. As he flies tomorrow, katika jina la Yesu, I fly vizuri. I, I was prayed for. I greeted all my friends. I said, bye, bye, guys. America, America. So I went to the airport. I checked in. I went again to the next stage. They say, Gina Lako, I go up a list. You, your name is not among those who will be flying today. Why? You don't have the, the visa for Amsterdam. You are not going today. I say, Masi, si muache tu ningie tu. Ningie tu, muache tu ningie tu. Basi mo, yee mutasot badai. Mini member, muache ningie. I say, no. Visa. Visa. <laughs> It's called the Schengen visa. You don't have it. Nikarudi na aibu sana huku. Kusalimia wengine wale nilisema bye. Sasa nina undo the bye. I, uh, for one week I was waiting again. I was undoing the greetings and the bye bye. It's after a week again. I got that visa. <laughs> And when I reached the airport, he said, Sasa, where we need some bamba. Uko rada, Sasa, unaweza kuenda. That is how it will happen in heaven. If you have no <laughs> salvation, the ticket is salvation in Jesus. Auta toboa. Simunajua kutoboa. Auta toboa. Kwanza wa malaika wako haba bodyguard ya mungu, Michael. Wala ze, we, umetoka hapi, ati, ki, 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 subu. Ah, we, pita huko, unawana bosa yako huko, apembeni hapa. Salvation is the key to the kingdom of God. If you're here, you've not yet given your life to Christ. This is the moment. I missed the plane. Because I had known that visa. Many people will miss heaven. Heaven is real. And the hell is also real. Let nobody cheat you. Ati, hakuna, hakuna hell. He ni friction too. Hey. Kwanza ningeenda huku ni kupigie picha ya huku. Ni rudi ni kuonyeshe. Uta okoka mara moja. I said another time. If I had the power. If God had given me the power in Kisumu to put salvation in Pupo, to just put salvation in the heart of people, pokea, 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 pokea. I'll do it. I'll do it for everyone and even for my family members. Pokea. Those drugs, pokea. But he has not given us that authority. He has only given us the opportunity to present it for the people to make a choice. You make a choice, you get it freely. I wish, I wish, uh, in fact, I'm still praying God to give me the power. Pokea. Ningize uko kuro yako, chu. Upone maramoja utoke haba na unazime ni mepona. But you have the choice to make, to accept it as the personal savior. I would like you to bow your hands before we Move to the next session. Thank you, Lord. I'd like you to just reflect in your heart, your personal. Have you really, really made a personal relationship with God? Is there any personal relationship? Have you made it? Or you are still under the misconception? 
I'd like you to pray for yourself. This is a time for you if you've not yet done it. Christ is inviting you. He wants to dine with you. It could be you've been a Christian, but you've gone astray. Christ wants to give you a new beginning. My brother, my sister, a new beginning. You can start it again. It doesn't matter how worse you've been. Just like you are. You come to him, not to the pastor, not to anybody else. We've not give, been given that power to put Jesus by power in people. But it's you to say, I've not yet given my life to Christ. Christ paid it for you, free of charge. Yours is to just accept. Very simple. It's not complicated that way we think it is. It's simple. It's simple. Simple. It's made simpler for anyone. Nobody will say, I did not receive. I did not. I was not the priest. You have received. You have heard the gospel. Free, 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 free of charge. Yours is to say, Yes, Lord. I can live without I just need it. you. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus. Free. I can free. live without Free, you must be born again for you to enter the kingdom of God. I can't yes. live without Come into your life oh, Jesus, and be the Lord of my life. In this mood of prayer, you. I want to pray. Is there any someone in this congregation before we pray? I can't Is there anyone here say, I want to give my life to Christ? Oh, Just raise Jesus, your hand. Raise your hand. I can't live without I don't want you to be heaven. You. Is there anyone here? I can't live without Is there anyone? Oh, Say Christ. Jesus, Just raise your hand. Raise you. your hand. I want to pray with you. Thank you. This is your sincere commitment to the Lord. I would like you to repeat this prayer in your heart. We're going to do one more thing now. Repeat this prayer. Dear God, I accept that I am a sinner. I also believe that you sent your only son to take away my sins. I know that the death of Christ is the only remedy for the penalty of sin. Therefore, I repent my sins today and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and a personal Savior. Jesus, I invite you into my life mold me into all that you plan that I should be and direct my path you have chosen me give me the courage and strength to live worthily of your love and to follow you wherever you lead in Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray amen let everyone say amen, amen. let's give a hand clap to the Lord thank you if you have done this prayer sincerely you are born again 
It's by inviting Jesus into your life that he comes into your life. And now that you are saved, appreciate the assurance of salvation. You don't need to feel saved. You are saved. You are saved. Live a new life. Live a new life. If you've been fighting before, stop it. Grow in salvation. Read the Bible. Pray regularly. Share your testimony with other people. Find a church and attend regularly. Share your faith with other people. That is very well. Leave. I want to go back to the one. Live a new life. When you have come to the Lord with all your burden, you live there. You don't continue doing the same thing again. Kama umeokoka, kama kitambo ulikuwa na twanga mama na umeokoka unaacha. Uwezi kumgonga, uwezi kupiga mama, you don't fight your wife, you hug her. You said of fighting. When you're stealing, you stop stealing. You are harsh to people, be kind. You are a new person. You are a new creature. You belong to the family of God. Kama unafika nyumbani, unatwanga watu wachana naye. You are a new person. Can I hear a big amen for that? When you are saved, hata kwa ofisi, mdosi anakuangalia hivi, unasema wewe Mungu akubariki. Boss, hata kama boss anakuweka pressure you are born again Christian you make your life is different you are the light you are the salt of the world you don't do the way the world is doing even at home kama haongeaki na watu ama kwa estate you are lone ranger ongea na watu how can they know Christ is the savage only when you share with them now I want to do something briefly I would like you to turn in a group of five of ten. Make a group now. Let's, let's, let's have a small church now. The real church now. Make a group of five, ten. These, 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 these chairs can, can be turned around. Just turn around. Are your brothers in the sea.